First off, this is going to be showing you a little bit of how you can catch cheating in Google Drive if you're using Google Classroom. I'll put up another video later. But unfortunately, we have to worry about this. If a kid turns an assignment, the first thing I go to, if I have any suspicions, is I go to File, See Revision History. And there it shows the time and the date. I tell my kids they can't do their work in Microsoft Word and then upload it because then it would just show that they had been there briefly. If I want to see more detail, I just go down here and I click Show More Detail. And you can see I can get a whole bunch of things. And then I can kind of follow through with the different levels. So if if a kid only spent two minutes on an assignment, which clearly takes a lot longer, you know it was probably copied and by, cut and pasted or just uploaded, in which case I just simply don't accept it. Uh, often kids, unfortunately, who cheat aren't even that wise. They, they upload the original document from a friend, and then you would go through the different versions and you'd see the friend's name and then the friend's names would be crossed out. So that's one way. The second way, if, if they have shared a folder, for example, and you know, just imagine this is inside a folder, uh, if there is language that I think is problematic, that it could be stolen from another kid or copied, I, I take a snippet. In this case, obviously, I'm taking a, a few words, but then all the documents, and clearly I have a lot that say government, would pop up, uh, and usually you're going to get two or three. Uh, you are going to catch kids, and I always kind of announce it to the class that I've caught five this year or ten. I obviously don't use names um, or even say what class it came from, uh, but then the kids are on to you or occasionally are joke and say, hey, Tommy, that's pretty impressive. You were doing your work at 3.10 a.m., and it, it, it gets them the first time to know that the, you know that kind of information. Uh, you can even take snippets that you find in your class in the search engine and send it to another teacher that you might have, have in a collaborative team and have them put it in uh, their uh, folder and you'll find kids between classes uh, if they are cheating. Uh, you do have to be careful that it's not a common phrase, for example, and also know that uh, you need to give your kids a lesson on plagiarism and copying straight from the Internet. Uh, but if I think the writing is uh, copied straight from the internet, I just take a snippet from a student paper, go to Google, and put it into Google. And again, kids who are copying are either lazy or don't know what they're doing, and boom, it pops up. And um, take a, a snapshot and, and give it to the kids and, and decide what you're going to do with them. I hope this was helpful.